hello everyone so now we'll see we'll move on to marginal unit quantity discount problem we already seen how to solve or how to decide upon the optimal lot size if you have all the unit quantity discount right so let's uh, first go through the problem it's the same one only uh, changes that it's marginal unit quantity discount pricing now instead of all unit quantity right so what does it mean so wellness forever is an online retailer of prescription drugs and health supplements and vitamins that represent a significant percentage of their sales the demand for vitamins is 10000 bottles per month it incurs a fixed order placement transportation and receiving cost of $100 each time an order is placed it incurs a holding cost of 20% the manufacturer uses the this marginal unit quantity discount scheme okay we have to find out what should be the ideal or optimal lot size so let's just understand what is happening over here so we have we have the unit price but this is marginal right now for the first one the price is 3 let this q not equal to 0 up to q1 so this is q not q1 q2 okay next one is 2.96 and finally above q2 it will be 2.92 so what is the information that we have from the problem we know that q0 is 0 q1 is 5000 and q2 is 10000 okay corresponding unit prices are c0 is equal to 3 c1 equal to 2.96 and C2 equal to 2.92. Alright. So now, before proceeding, we'll take out the other data that is available with us. That is, total demand is 12 into 10,000. That is, 1,20,000 units per year. We also know that the ordering cost is $100 per order or lot and the holding cost is 20 percent of the total cost of the material all right then we calculate the parameter v now what does the quantity the parameter v indicate v is the cost of ordering QI units. So if I want to order units QI, what will be my cost? It will be C0 that is 3 into QI minus sorry Q1 minus Q0. Okay. What will be my V parameter if I want to order the quantity Q0? It will be 0 right it will be zero because q naught is zero okay and there is no previous slab there is no previous slab that is to be taken care of okay so we know v naught is zero that's how it is defined v1 is c naught into q1 minus q naught that is 3 into 5000 minus 0 that is 15000 dollars likewise v2 will be we add to v1 that is c0 into q1 minus q0 plus c1 into q2 minus q1 so what it does it accounts for all the previous slab okay if we want to order something in this then v2 will account for everything that is here right okay 
so what will be the value 3 into 5000 minus 0 plus 2.96 into q2 will be 10000 minus 5000 right so if you calculate this your value for v2 should be dollars 29,800 okay now now that we have the v parameter with us we have to calculate the eoq for each one so we have a formula which is different from the classical eoq so for the first one for q naught we will calculate under root 2 into d into s plus v naught minus q naught c naught divided by h into c naught if we just partially replace some of the values it will give us 2 into d into s plus v naught is 0 plus q naught is 0 so q naught c naught will also be 0 upon h c naught that is root of 2 t s by h c naught so you will note that this is classical eoq for the first slab okay only for first slab because there is nothing to be taken care of there are no previous slabs to be accounted for okay if we just substitute the different values over here we get 6324 that is the eoq then q1 is again under root 2 into d into s plus v1 that is 15,000 minus q1 c1 upon h c1 so if we substitute all the values we'll get what size of 11028 Okay, likewise for Q2, it will be under root 2 into D into S plus V2 minus Q2 C2 divided by H C2. We substituted out all the values, we will get 16961. See, we have got three quantities, but we need uh, these quantities need not be the ones that we order because we have to first check where on this particular graph where on this particular graph do these quantities fall right so now we check we have q naught at 6324 and q naught is greater than q1 right that is 5000 Therefore, we set Q naught star equal to Q1, that is 5000. Likewise, we know that Q1 is greater than Q2, that is 10,000. So, we set Q1 star is equal to Q2 equal to 10,000. Now Q2 is Q2 falls within the target slab over here as it is greater than 10,000. Therefore, we set Q2 star equal to the same as Q2 16961. So what are we doing over here? See, what we are trying to do over here is we are setting the, we are forcing the quantity, the optimal quantity to fall in one particular, in that particular slab which we are targeting. Okay. So what next? We have found three quantities. We have called them optimal quantities. But 
we don't know which of these quantities will be the one which we order right therefore that decision will have to be taken after we consider the total cost so how is the total cost calculated for this kind of a situation given as total cost we find for the tc not for the first price it be p by q not star into s ordering cost plus p not plus q not star minus q not into c not to h by 2 plus d by q not star into again v not plus q not star minus q not so if it is that particular quantity which falls in that slab into c not okay and when we substitute all the values we will get dollar 363900 right for tc1 it will be d by q1 star to s plus v not plus q not star minus sorry q1 star minus q1 to c1 into h by 2 plus please note that this is 1 over here right V1, this is Q1 plus T by Q1 star to V1 plus Q1 star plus Q1 C1. This value will come to around dollar select 61,780. Likewise, TC2 will be D by Q2 star s plus v2 plus q2 star minus q2 to c2 to h by 2 plus d by q2 star into v2 plus q2 star minus q2 to c2 right so once you place all the uh, substitute for all the variables the final cost that you'll got is get is 360,365 now when you compare all these three you will note that tc2 is the lowest cost therefore we place an order with lot sizes 16961 right i guess this yeah per lot okay so that we meet our total annual demand of 120000 units all right we will note that this one this quantity uh, this quantity is much larger than the optimal quantity of 6324 that we were getting at here this 6324 which is the optimal quantity when there is no discount so that is the trade-off we are getting the overall cost lower but then because we know the we have the visibility of the total demand we can uh, place orders at this uh, this lot size right if we don't have then probably it, we may incur some additional warehousing cost in case uh, the orders are lesser all right fine thank you